Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Joshy Bear, and we are playing the Minecraft. This looks a little different than what you might have been used to with the other world. Because it's the beginning of a new... A new adventure. I guess. You could call it that, and it's about to be a really scary adventure because it's getting dark. Let's, uh, let's go inside and do this because... <clears throat> I don't have my armor on. But, uh, yes, I want to welcome you to the first episode of uh, this new series on the Torchcraft Vanilla Multiplayer Survival Server. I'm going to find a better way to say that. It's always such a mouthful for me. But, uh, as you can see, we're not starting from the beginning. No. And I joined the server probably, eh, probably been two weeks ago. And started playing a little bit, got myself established, and thought it might be a good idea to expand my repertoire a little bit. Uh, getting to know a few of the people, not a uh, player. Wow, did you really need disease? Anyway, uh, getting to know uh, some of the people on on the server a little bit. I, I, you know, we're not going out for drinks or anything like that, but. Uh, all seem like really nice people. Uh, gonna be uh, actually really excited to uh, get to play with them a little bit and uh, have this experience with them. But uh, as you can see, we definitely have got ourselves a good start here. Um, so it's not tip your typical survival series that I would do, at least single player wise. Um, usually, and, and like with the one series that you have on my channel, a series I did before on another channel where you, you start with nothing, punching trees and digging yourself a hole. I've got myself my little Savannah hi Hideaway, uh, Casa del Joshi Bear. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I put on a sign. Anyway, I just want to show you around a little bit before we get into some projects. Maybe uh, go over to Spawn, hit the nether, nether Hub and check this out. But yes, this is my house. It's Stone and acacia wood. I like the acacia wood. Don't hate. But, uh, yeah. Pretty pretty simple. Got to do some more in here. I think I'm going to put some bookcases around and make it look more uh, homey and less empty, cold. Is that what it looks like? I don't know. I thought the orange made it bright. But uh, I have the real excitement down here. And I have been busy. I've been journeying around the world getting myself things uh pretty much everything now blaze rods are not definitely definitely not in a large supply for me in this let's play yet but uh, i do have a little bit of nether wart uh got myself a little smelter here this is basically the uh, workshop also got myself an enchanting room done some enchanting you see i do have diamond tools i gotta repair that one and uh bit of storage so yeah that's the house I mean nothing uh, nothing too fancy then we come down here I feel like I'm on cribs so this is my crib I got a big hole in the ground down here and there's like a cave up here or something but uh, this has been my mining area and I was mining down here but uh, I decided I wanted to do a slime farm and I've been kind of digging things out to pick up the block. Pick. Oh, wait, no, my inventory's full. Uh, trying to uh, find the slime chunks just by digging them out and AFKing a little bit. Uh, I haven't been on the last couple of days, so it's been a little difficult for me to do that. I'm going to put my armor back on. I don't have full diamond armor yet, but uh, I've enchanted it, so it works for me. No luck with the slimes yet, though. Uh, there is a... I stumbled upon a slime farm that I was... Oh, I always get lost down here. That uh, I AFK'd at for a little bit. Uh, so if uh, the owner of that slime farm is watching, thank you for building that. Uh, I didn't get a lot, but I got enough to maybe uh, do a few projects. Uh, but uh, we are going to be building our own, uh, hopefully in the hopes of sharing with everybody else, actually. Because that's... I think that's the thing we've got to get past in this Let's Play. Um, <clears throat> getting philosophical about it. Um, in a single-player world, which is where I'm most comfortable, uh, we build everything for ourselves, and we hoard everything, and it's mine, mine, mine. Not in a world that you share. 
So, you know, we are getting ourselves situated, and we will be doing some projects that will get ourselves situated, but uh, we also want to get involved with the with the community uh, projects and uh, help everybody out as uh, they venture in Torchcraft. There's my horse. Um, trying to ride him the other morning, and it was a little weird trying to ride him. I think we had some lag issues, but... Uh, as you can see, ender pearls are not a problem. We do have an ender farm, enderman farm. <laughs> uh, I've stumbled upon that one on accident. And the good thing is, is that my nether portal is right across the hall in the nether, nether hub from the end portal. So that's the house. That's the horse. I, and I know I got to show you what his name is. And yes, I'm probably the only one laughing at it. But that's my horse, Sobola's Wrath. For some reason, that's still funny to me. But yeah, say yeah. He uh, he's not the fastest horse on the planet. But then we come up here just to get the home tour out of the way, and we've got ourselves a little ruin, and we got some pigs down there. Nice little fountain. I, uh, wow, that vine's really growing. I just put that vine on there the other day. I was trekking across the uh, across the across the globe and found myself a swamp. So. Uh, that was that was good news. But we come up here and we've got ourselves another portal. <laughs> I uh, I'm not normally much of a builder, but uh, this kind of inspired. So yeah, this is this is my lens as far as the eye can see. So anyway, I do have a couple things planned for this first episode. Not sure really how much we're actually going to get to. Uh, I do want to do some uh, crop farming. Uh, some more automated crop farming because that is already old and tedious and I'm sick of it. But I also... I want to do a, a cactus farm because I have some cactus. We have the desert out here and, you know, we don't need the cactus but I'd like I'd like to be able to start contributing something to the the community pot and I think uh, a cactus farm as, I, as I've learned through my, <laughs> my other Let's Play it, you build it a certain way and uh you're gonna be swimming in cactus so i won't have any need but first let's uh let's jump into the jump into the nether and i'll because i haven't i haven't been on for a couple days i didn't even go into the nether the other day when i was on so and i've got to get my area kind of fixed up a little bit but uh see if they yeah see casa del joshi bear and right over there that's uh that's the end portal and we got some pigmen going in there and uh, that, the, the Enderman farm, really convenient. Maybe uh, I'll show you that here in a little while. But um, don't know how much progress has been made on the Nether Hub, but uh, what has been done, absolutely uh, awesome. I'm really enjoying that. Uh, we do have a Wither Killer, and there was also the beginnings of a uh, zombie pigman uh, XP and gold farm up there, uh, much like uh, some of the ones that you've seen on, on some other uh, channels. So... Uh, Hopefully that gets because that that one thing really works. But here is the main Nether Hub. That looks pretty awesome. I I was really impressed with that. I mean, it's not overly complicated, but it's uh it's it's got it's got some sophistication and a little bit of a underworld all mixed into one. I gotta say, quite impressed. But uh, some people laying in some railroads here. I've I gotta. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do my end of it. I think I, I'm gonna help out a little bit with this, just to build it down to at least to mine. Maybe um, we'll we'll find out <laughs> eventually uh, when I do get to that. But uh, we're still kind of working on the uh, homestead. Uh, this will lead us right to spawn, which uh, actually I haven't seen spawn for a while either. Uh, last time I was here, there was a house popped up. Yeah, see, we got a house there. Uh, not much going on in spawn now. It's not an overly populated server, and I guess I should uh, should plug a little bit here while I'm looking at what's going on. We do have some beacons, but uh, let's uh, what we got here. This is player player monument. Oh wow! Ah, they moved this stuff. Okay, this used to actually be out um out outside on like a little board, but uh, it looks like. Wow, that's cool. So we've got uh, 
top monthly players. I am not on there. It's uh, it's unfortunate. I don't get a lot of time to play, but uh, I do. I play when I can. But we've got uh, those who killed the Ender Dragon. Now I ah, uh, I was I was online that day, and they asked me if I was coming, and I just I wasn't necessarily equipped or I didn't feel I was equipped so I didn't get to go on that but uh, I was there I I was here and I knew when they did it so yeah it's thanks to them that we have all the Ender Pearls we want thanks guys thanks a lot <laughs> anyway top donators oh we got donators alright well I'll have to look into that too but wow that's that's really nice whoever whoever built this is uh that's a really 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 cool I'll have to find out who built that but anyway um torch hyphen craft dot net I gotta say I gotta say the hyphen because if I just say torchcraft dot net you're just gonna type in torchcraft I would but uh it's a whitelisted server you need, do need to apply and uh, I do believe they still are taking applications so if you want to join the fun come on in all right uh, so yeah that's spawn uh, not not a lot done yet but uh, that's why we're here shops only and I think uh, our shop might have to be either a, like a vegetable stand or a cactus farm or cactus shop because we've got we're gonna have both so let's uh let's head back to the homestead real quick and uh, start looking at our land. And I always forget which direction I need to go. I think it's... No. I'm just going to run in circles. Yeah, it's this way. Nope. It's the other way. <laughs> I am so lost already. Follow the torches. Need to have like a sign just for me to tell me which way to go in the nether to get to my house it's it's really not that far from spawn actually i think i'm probably one of the closest people to spawn other than uh maybe a few that are on then got some portals on that side but you know i'm, I'm only about seven eight hundred blocks from spawn but uh, i saw this area and i was just absolutely absolutely in love do i have any i don't have any ender pearls on me but i was just it just hit me. I was in love with it. I had the savanna over there. It's one of my savanna is actually it's a lot. Of, it's brown, but it's one of my favorite biomes to to look at. The trees are awesome. If you notice, I've got the acacia trees planted all over the place, and I do. Ha I have a desert next to me, so sand is not a problem. I'm still looking for my other favorite biomes, and I think we all know what those are. But you got enough to eat? Yeah, you haven't even touched this. What? You gonna get him? Or do I need to get him? <laughs> All right, let's uh, just walk over here. Uh, nighttime isn't a isn't a huge deal on the server, but uh, we'll see what happens. So uh, the plan is, I want to get uh, some of these crops automated. Uh, the vegetables and the wheat. Um, we'll, we'll get to those later. I want to make sure we've got a slime farm in place because I've only got a few planted there. But uh, you see that open area out there. I'm, I'm thinking that's going to kind of be a farming complex. Um, not only for us, but for everybody it, it, on the server. It's close enough to spawn that, uh, you know, if we need to transport stuff back and forth, it's, it's fine for a store. Um... Also, I, I can see newer players kind of walking through this area going, oh, I need some stuff, and if we just just have it out there for them, then they're, they're good to go. They don't have to worry about that stuff. But uh, I have been working on uh, my own crop, crop farm design, and it's nothing special. It's just, it's just some dirt and some glass and some redstone and a button and some dispensers with water buckets. But I was trying to make them kind of big and, and really noticeable from, from a distance. And so we'll probably we'll probably get a, at least one of those up. I'm thinking, uh, I don't know how many, row, how many layers I want to do. We could do one that's three layers. 
and have one one uh, row of each crop, and it that'd be two rows per layer. So it'd be two rows of wheat, two rows of carrots, two rows of potatoes. Um, but I haven't decided if I want to do multiple because they're ta- they're going to be towers, or if I just want to do one big tower. And I think I want to do multiple because one big tower is going to look a little silly. And if we have a group of them, it's going to look like like a little farm complex. And then a uh, cactus farm. I haven't decided where I want to put the cactus farm yet. And I'm thinking I might put it closer to the desert because I do have some area out here that uh, I haven't really earmarked for anything yet. So I could put it out here. Or even, or even over there. I'll have to decide on that. But um, I am going to get some things together, and I think the cactus farm is probably going to be our first, our first uh, project here on the server. I know it's not a very useful thing to do, really, other than uh, other than to have cactus and create dye. But uh, I need green dye. Because I think I'm going to use green glass on my farms. Either that or I might... I'm going to try out the green. But um, I'm going to go get some cactus, get some things together. And we'll get started on this farm. Alright, so we've got... I, I, I think I've picked my location. And this is going to just be a small cactus farm. And now I say small. And uh, so my last experience with a quote small cactus farm turned out that I had to actually <laughs> reroute all of the cactus because there was just too much of it we're going 12 by 8 I think I hope I hope I've calculated this right if not you know we'll figure it out and then we'll rebuild it or something but uh, I'm going to do the outline in stone brick do believe now what I want is I think I want actually I'm gonna place a I'm gonna go ahead and place my double chest down Let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I think uh, maybe this is the middle like that I get that right? Nope, I'm off by one. Sorry, I've got, I've got to do this, or maybe. No, it's that it's an awkward amount. Okay, well we're just gonna put a double chest in right there, because I want a hopper feeding into that. So, just basically gonna lay out where everything's gonna go. All right, so that's how everything's going to feed into it. Uh, one, two, actually, let's count the hopper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay. What I need is a row of dirt. And then, I guess. It's time to start laying out all of our cactus. So it would be kind of like this. And I told you, it's going to be a small one. We're going to have 12 cacti in here. Now we could do a second level if we wanted, but... Uh, you know, I wanted to start, start easy here. I mean, I've... I took some time on the nether portal. I took some time on the house. This is not an overly complicated project, so we don't have to go... Oh, that's got to go up one more because all the water is going to be right there. Yeah, i got to fill all that in because all of... Yeah, I've already miscalculated that. Woo, okay. Um, yeah, let's do another st row of stone bricks. I may have to get more in here, but uh, it's not a big deal. But basically, 12 cactus. And, and what was I saying? I, oh yeah, I went I went like all out with 
with the starter home. I mean, I you see that bridge? I've got two of them <laughs> to each each side of the river. I need to make one more on the other side. And Sand has got some coordinates going. I think he's he's working on a guardian farm. We're gonna have to go check that out here eventually. But I I want to get uh, some good progress on this. I'm gonna go gather uh, some more stone bricks, some more dirt, and uh, I will bring it right back. All right, so as we can see, I've got everything laid out. I did misjudge that a little bit. I did need that to, to drop down a little bit, but uh, easy fix. Of course, we're dealing with me here, so I missed, yeah. I don't think it's that hard to, hard to fathom that I misjudged. Uh, seems to be a common occurrence for me in the Minecraft world. Well, we're getting our sand down now. I mean, I've got to remember how to put the half slabs up because I don't already. But uh, I'm not going to go any higher with the uh, stone brick. I think I'm going to bring glass up around it just just to see how it looks. I might make some glass panes and do it that way. But I do need to put some dirt up because I think what I'm going to need to do is go like that maybe. and put my half slab on there like this. I don't know how I remembered how to do it the last time I did it. And then, let's put our signs up like this. We'll be able to test this real quick though. Uh, I know, oh, I didn't bring any cactus. Well, that's an easy fix. All right, so on the topic of miscalculating, I uh, once again find myself by building a uh, cactus farm and realizing that it's going to be much easier if it's eight blocks wide on each side for the water streams. <laughs> so I've expanded it to one row aside. So we have 18 cactus in total. Not 12, but uh, I think it's going to work out much better for us in the end. Uh, let's take a look at it from down here, because uh, the one thing we've got to decide now is, other than the stone brick everywhere, how do we want it to look? And I want to put some glass up on it, but uh, I'm not sure if I want to just i got to cook that to make dye. If I want to make that green glass, since it's a cactus farm, I think th I think we might try that. I think we might try some green glass here, but uh, just so we can make sure that everything's getting in there. Yep, we've already got a couple cactus in there, which is cool. And I don't think anything's getting stuck. No, that should be running in there just fine. All right, so... I don't know. I think we should try the green glass. I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Let's go let's go ahead and pop inside and do that. Um, I want to uh, remind you that uh, there's gonna be a new episode of this every Tuesday, Torchcraft Tuesdays. Uh, I'm they're gonna be progressively more exciting than a cactus farm. I promise you that. <laughs> but um, of course, Tuesdays Torchcraft Tuesday. I just makes it catchy sounding I guess and then on Saturdays is when I'm going to be uploading the single player survival um, I'm going to try my best not to talk about the single player survival um, if you watch any of that you know that uh, I've as I've stated on several occasions I do a lot of that in advance so uh, what you're seeing is definitely not what I'm actually doing at this very moment these I'm not doing in uh, maybe a couple days in advance uh, like for me right now, it's Saturday, uh, but I could be it could be as recent as Monday when I was uh, when I'm recording on here. So oh, that's done, sweet. But anyway, Tuesdays new episodes. Uh, I gotta remember how to do this. We're just gonna try this out, but uh, I'll show you the first little bit here, and I might want to put some torches down. Let's see here. Let's see how well this is going to work. That actually. 
actually might not work out too bad. You know what? I'm going to go with it and see where it goes, but uh, I do need to put some... I need to figure out what to do here on the edges. I might just run the glass all the way around. But I am going to have to figure out some lighting. So I'm going to I'm gonna get going on that. I've got to make some dye too, so... Uh, I've got a little bit. I will not make you watch all of that, so I will be back as soon as I... <laughs> As soon as I'm not crafting dies. We'll just put it at that. Alright, so there is all the glass in place. Now, I didn't have quite enough dye to get uh, some wool, because I had a thought putting green wool on top, and I'm actually going to... I'm going to do this front corner real quick, just to see if that's going to work, but... Uh, I also might put some vines around the stone just to see how that might look. But I figure, you know, make this green. Although it's not cactus green, it's... I can always replace it after I've got some... Some... A, uh... I, wow, losing my words. <laughs> a, uh, a nice supply of bones to for bone meal and make maybe some lime green wool out of that but uh, let's come let's come check it out here it actually might not look too bad it's a little dark hmm we'll see how well it's producing okay not a uh, not the overachiever that we probably hoped it would be so far, but uh, then again, we just got it up. So I don't know. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. Not bad. We at least now we have some cactus, and our farming area is now starting. Our farming complex is what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put some of those vines on there. I'm gonna wait for some more cactus. Get some uh get some wool put together and uh, we'll see how it turns out in the end alright so I'm putting the finishing touches on this thing and I made a few decisions while I was away about how this thing's gonna look but I've decided to put a little bit of glowstone in the top be a nice touch a little bit of light but um, use the full glass there then I used the wool around the edges, and I went with the half slabs to kind of steer, tear up the uh, ceiling. Although you can you can see that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm explaining to you. You can see exactly what I've done. All right, so what do we think? I mean, other than you know, a little bit more around the outside. That's not bad for a quick farm. Not sure I'm sold on the uh, stone brick, but you know we built ourselves a build this out just a little bit here to get that chest. I used almost all that, all those stone slabs. Never mind. I'll have to maybe slab that up a little bit around here. But yeah, not bad. I think those vines actually. They don't make you think of cactuses, but it kind of gives you that green, that green feeling, you know? Cactuses are green, everything's green about it. Alright, so the world's cactus problem is solved. <laughs> oh, I don't know that that's really the world's problem, but um, it's our first real con- oh, there's a reason why I brought signs. Because I'm going to consider this our first real contribution, even though it's oh, a little bit away from spawn. And people aren't going to be clamoring for cactus as soon as they join the server, but uh, free cactus. T 
take <laughs> as much as you want. Oh, I should have put it. Oh, damn it. I have to do that. I gotta do that all over again. Take as much as Mach. As Mach 5 you want. There. Free cactus. Take as much as you want. We're Eventually, we're gonna have so much cactus that we're not even gonna know what to do with it, so. Whatever. Everybody can have it. There you go. If you're on tor the Torchcraft server, there's going to be free cactus here in about a day or two. So, yeah. Okay. And, uh, I guess we just shot ourselves in the foot with a cactus shop, but uh, we can always sell the dyes if we wanted to. I'm, I'm really thinking about this whole this whole shop thing. I gotta ask about it, but, uh, I guess that's enough for that project. All right, real quick. Uh, remember that horse I was telling you about? Well, I, uh, whoa. Oh, really? That is the worst aim I've ever seen a skeleton have, I think. Anyway, uh, before it gets too violent out here, I think the zombies are getting ready to come. But, uh, yeah, I decided that it was time to grab him. And you notice he's wearing the diamond armor because uh, I swapped it because he's a better horse. Or she, whichever it may be. Hey. Stay. I am trying to introduce my new horse. Silly zombie. Anyway, so Ebola's Wrath is now in, in gold armor. <laughs> here, here it all comes. Really? Leather armor had that much protection? But anyway, our new horse. His or her name at this point is at Joshy Bear Plays. Good time to plug the, the uh, Twitter account. But uh, I, I wanted to ask you guys, because I really couldn't come up with anything. Um, if it were a black horse, I would have called it uh, uh, the, uh, the Black Plague, or just Black Plague, just to go along with the whole disease thing. I, I don't know. But uh, I, I, want, I want you guys to name this one. So at Joshy Bear Plays, you can tweet it there, or you can leave it down in the comments below. See if we can come up with a better name for this horse. Yeah, yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? All right, so I was uh, down in the mines earlier, and uh, my my diamond situation it was it was pretty low, and I needed to repair some things, and I still I'm still not in diamond full diamond armor yet, which you know I I, I guess that's to be expected. I haven't been really in this world all that long, but, uh, look at that. We got, a. I got quite lucky yesterday evening, <laughs> and I went from what was one diamond to 31 diamonds. <laughs> so I did, uh, I did do a little bit of enchanting with books, but I'd like to, to, uh, make, make myself some pants, and, uh, then show off uh, the Enderman farm. So we're going to go ahead and craft ourselves some pants. Now I do have quite a few books and then I think what I'll do is I'll take some with me uh, to to enchant with. Uh, we can put... Yeah, that, that came off a book. It's Fortune 2, but you know. And I did get some of that too, so... Uh, oh, yeah. An Efficiency 4 book came through, so I now have an Efficiency 5 pick, which... Uh, is what I used to do my mining last night. That was quite helpful. Did I leave any? Oh, yeah. Got ourselves quite a bit of that too. But uh, we did uh, increase our Ender Pearl stock as well, which I couldn't bring nearly all of what I had actually gathered back. As you can see, that's just what I had here and what I brought back. Um, yeah, it was it was quite. Uh, and let me put this stuff away too while we're here. Uh, I can't never remember where I put any of this stuff, but 
Sorry, I gotta think about this. Uh, where did I put those? I think I just slapped them in there. But yeah, trying a new uh, new s way of sorting. I actually I saw it on somebody else's video, and I was like, you know what? That's a really good idea. Although it's not really holding all that true for me. I'm gonna have to just get an actual sorting system in here. But uh, here's the plan. We're gonna go head over to the Enderman farm. In the end. Now, you know, don't don't expect anything too extravagant. It's not incredibly fancy, but it does look nice. And I you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it give it that. Um Yeah, as you can see I've definitely done some enchanting. We'll take we'll take a few books too, actually. We'll do that. But uh I'm gonna head over there and I will I guess I'll see you there. All right, so here we are. Um, yeah, the main end island is all the way back there, but this is this is the Enderman farm, and you know what? Like I said, not incredibly fancy, but it does look nice, and it is actually quite effective um, in getting levels. Uh, my problem is, is I'm impatient, and I just want to start killing them. So I, for me, when I'm down here, I'm like, God, this shouldn't be taking as long as it does, but I, I just can't seem to wait <laughs> long enough to uh, get... Uh, to get a proper amount of Enderman in there, but if you look in some of these chests, I mean, I know I'm not the only one putting Ender Pearls in these chests, but I know that I've been, I've been down here a few times and uh, just stuck tons of Ender Pearls in these chests. So, whoever, whoever's benefiting from all of that, uh, you're welcome. I know I'm benefiting from it, so it's a uh, quite a thing. So, yeah. Pretty simple process here. Let me just punch Enderman, and I know that's loud and annoying. Hopefully it's not as loud for you as it is in my headphones. Because I'm pretty sure I turned that stuff down. But uh, I'm going to grind out here a little bit. Just thought I'd show you this, and uh, we'll do a little bit of enchanting before we go. You have no idea what's coming. No idea. All right, I don't want to spend all day here, but uh, I do have a few levels to do a little bit of enchanting. So we're gonna we're gonna grab our books and our lapis and our pants because I do want to see if we can get a good enchant on those. Maybe get ourselves into some full diamond armor here. All right, so let's see what our first enchant is with the pants. Blast protection. It's four. There's efficiency efficiency three really. Uh, I guess I'll take the chance. See what it gives me. Okay, another feather falling. That's good. I'll, I'll take that feather falling for. Uh, okay, let's see what the next one is with the books. Power four. How about for the pants? Protection four. Um, you know what? Let's let's do it. Oh wait, wrong. Let's. What is it? What is it? Just protection four. I think I've got an unbreaking three. So you know, not uh, not great, but not bad. You know, protection four is okay. All right, last one. Another power f four. Be more than power four. Be more than power four. Eh, okay. Well, I guess we could try to get one more. We didn't get anything great. I'm really wanting a silk touch. So, I can, because if I, and once I get a silk touch pick, I'm, we're going to be swimming in resources, although fortune three would be great too. Um, if I get silk touch, I can grab those ores, wait till I get the fortune three. You know how this works. But uh, I've got a ton of ender pearls right now. Okay. I mean, look at that. <laughs> That's just from from just being here maybe 20 maybe 20 minutes. All right. Uh, let's see what it gives me here. What is up with the power 4? Ah. <sighs> Any other time I'd probably well, I, I do have the bow and I can put that on the I'll do that at my place and use my anvil so I don't break that. One. I I've used this one a couple times, but I don't know how many other people are using it, and I don't want to break it. 
<laughs> and then not be here. Although I do have I do have iron on me. I could replace it if I wanted to. But uh, I'll if I gotta replace it, it might as well be my own. Well, let's see if we can get one more. I know this isn't this isn't incredibly exciting like a cactus farm or anything. Although killing Endermen is always always a lot of fun. Uh, haha. If I can clear these guys out, maybe I can. I didn't get a chance to show you that. Yeah. So pretty much your standard. Uh, looks like your. I haven't been up top yet, but it pretty much looks like your standard Enderman. Um, Enderman trap. I imagine there's pistons up there. I'm trying to see if I can. Eh, you can't see them really all that well. Maybe, uh, maybe if I can find my way up there in one of these episodes, we'll uh, we'll take a look exactly how it all how it all works. But um, most of you know how these Enderman trap work, Enderman traps work. So, uh, come on, kill you with your own pearls. Okay, one more, one more. I promise. Sharpness three. Ew. Wow, I'm I am getting the bad book luck here. All right, I think I I think I might stick around here a little bit more just to see if I can get some more uh, get a few uh, better books out of this. I'll go ahead and pop those in there for now. Um, and then uh, we will head back to our Savannah hideaway. Come on, Enderman, give me some good luck here. Come on, who doesn't like that sound? Dead Enderman. All right, I'll be back. Did I get him? He stole my melon. You get back here. That Enderman just stole my melon. Wow. Melon thief. All right, so after my enchanting session, I was feeling a little down, and I didn't want to end the episode going, well, the enchanting didn't work out, so see you later. So I decided I, I would do a little bit more work to kind of improve our cactus farm, at least visually, and I think I think it's getting there. I added a nice little entryway. Uh, did, a, did a few things on the side to not only change it up a little bit, but add a little little more depth to it. As you see, I've gone back to the acacia wood, as I have everywhere. Um, but it, it, it's made me feel a little bit better about about today and about uh, this week's episode. So we end, uh, we end with something nice and pretty, and let's see how well it's working. It's working awesome. I will take that for only having 18 cactus in there. That's I would say that's pretty good. I would say that's pretty good for the little bit of time that I've spent around this farm in since it's been built. So definitely free cactus for anyone who's uh, on the Torchcraft server and needs cactus. Also, speaking of, um, I know I said it once before, and I'm going to promote, promote, promote torch hyphen dash, whatever you want to call it, torch dash craft dot net. Uh, it is a vanilla survival multiplayer server uh they're hoping to add a few more servers if if uh that's what i get out of the conversation that was going on today while uh, while i was online so maybe here in the future you could uh, see some of your some of your other uh types of uh minecraft uh, multiplayer experiences coming to the torchcraft family of servers I, I don't know how you'd market that but that's how i'd market it it's a family of servers you know, kind of reach the, the, the family values crowd. It's a demographic. Politicians use it all the time. Isn't that right, a bull's wrath? Yeah, that's right. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Remember, I'm still looking for a name for my horse. I'm looking for suggestions. Any and all will be considered. However, uh, let's try to keep it somewhat clean. I mean, somewhat clean. I'm not asking for totally clean just somewhat clean also make sure that you're following me on twitter at joshy bear place <laughs> shameless self-promotion come on promote 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 
you starting out, you just gotta you just gotta repeat it until people get it. I guess. I mean, that's how it usually works, right? Anyway, if you like what 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 you see here and you like this video, please leave a like. Don't uh, don't uh, don't just watch the video and say, ah, I like that. Leave a like. You know, it's two seconds of your life to click that little thumbs up. Two seconds. That's all it takes. It also it also helps out the channel a little bit more. So uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Any and all likes that you can provide to to the videos on this channel. And speaking of the channel, if you do like the content that I'm producing, I'm trying so hard to produce. Uh, at least the best content that I can produce. Subscribe to the channel. You'll know uh, when uh, when that content is coming. And uh, also uh, look me up on Twitch, Twitch.tv/slash Joshy Bear Plays. I am going to be doing some live streaming. Um, I think at first it's probably going to be a mixture of single player and multiplayer. Um, I, just uh, just to see how that goes. I know that's uh, kind of a a tough thing to do sometimes and I'm just getting the YouTube channel started so uh, you know one step at a time but we will be doing some live streaming so you know if that's something that interests you as well go check that out and uh, should have a good time be doing that on Sundays I do believe and uh, it'll probably be Sunday evenings Eastern Standard Time thinking 5 or 6 p.m. so uh, hopefully many 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 of you can come watch and watch me uh, derp around in in whatever minecraft world i happen to choose to be in that day but uh that's uh before i ramble on uh, i think i think that's it i'm joshy bear i've had fun today remember like comment subscribe we've got a lot of projects ahead of us so we've got a lot of time to spend here join me next tuesday torchcraft tuesdays i'll see you later we oh that didn't work wait let me try that again I I can't end like that. I was I was hoping for epic fall into the water. Wee. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later.